Understanding the phrase, put up the wreath. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, put up the wreath. Whether you're a beginner or advanced learner, understanding these types of phrases is key to mastering the English language. So, let's get started and explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Put up the wreath is a phrase that combines two important English words, put up and wreath. Firstly, put up generally means to place or hang something in a specific position. It often implies that the item will be displayed or used for a particular purpose. Secondly, a wreath is a circular arrangement of flowers, leaves, or other decorative materials. Wreaths are traditionally associated with festive occasions or used as a sign of respect and remembrance. When combined, put up the wreath refers to the action of hanging a wreath, usually on a door or wall, as part of a celebration or commemoration. It's commonly associated with holidays like Christmas or remembrance events. Understanding the cultural context of phrases is crucial in language learning. The act of putting up a wreath has different meanings in various cultures. In many Western countries, it is a common tradition during Christmas to hang a wreath on the front door. This symbolizes a welcoming gesture and festive spirit. In other contexts, wreaths may be used during memorial services or on days of remembrance to honor those who have passed away. Let's see how put up the wreath can be used in everyday conversation. 1. Every December, we put up the wreath on our front door to celebrate Christmas. 2. The community gathered to put up wreaths at the memorial site in honor of the heroes. 3. Could you help me put up this wreath? I think it would look great above the fireplace. Notice how the phrase can be adapted slightly depending on the context and the subject of the sentence. And that's a wrap on, put up the wreath. We hope this video has helped you understand not just the meaning of the phrase, but also its cultural significance and practical use in conversation. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the nuances of phrases like these. Keep practicing, and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful English language tips. See you in the next video.